a person shot at 3334 in Evergreen. 422, you guys are okay over there? A man who could have been sent to prison for years based on claims in a police report was saved by a home surveillance camera. The footage showed he did not attack an officer as claimed in the report. I2 investigator Adam Walser spoke to the Lake Wales man and hears from local leaders who say it's not the first time they've heard complaints about heavy handed policing in their small town. I stopped at a stop sign right here on 3rd Street, and I noticed the officer behind me way before I even stopped. Chris Cordero was driving to Publix February 8th to pick up medicine for his young son when Lake Wales police officer Colt Black pulled him over. Unbeknownst to the officer, a camera across the street captured it all. I get out the vehicle to ask him what's going on because, you know, he's been following me for a while. Cordero stands by his car for more than 20 seconds, but Officer Black's report says Cordero immediately exited the driver door and began to charge towards my patrol vehicle. It says right here in this report this officer filed in the court that you came at him with clenched fists. That's absolutely not true. Officer Black approaches Cordero 30 seconds later. He sucker punched me from the back right here. Knock, crack the piece of my tooth out. I landed on the ground. Moments later, Officer Travis Worley arrives. It's hard to see exactly what happens next, but you can make out a struggle behind the car. They both jumped on me and beat me up really bad. In the report, Officer Black says he delivered an elbow strike to the left side of Cordero's head because he thought he was reaching for a weapon. In the complaint Cordero filed, he said Worley used a racist slur. I've never heard that terminology in my life. Cordero was charged with resisting arrest, assault on a law enforcement officer, and making a death threat to a law enforcement officer. When he bonded out of jail the next day, he went door to door in the neighborhood until he found the footage. After Cordero shared the footage with police, Officer Black wrote in another report, I believe my perception was altered due to the high stress of the incident. When I told Mr. Cordero that I believed him, he broke down in tears. Attorney Sarah Jones provided the video to the state's attorney's office, which immediately dropped the charges. Jones says she's heard multiple complaints from clients about Lake Wales police officers using heavy-handed tactics. These officers who have issues with power and control target people who they know won't be believed. Do you feel like that the leadership at that police department realize that there are potentially some bad apples on the force? If I'm to answer you honestly, yes. They know. How can they not when I stood at the city commission podium, when I stood and I talked to them and said, I'll tell you, I'll show you, come talk to me. I'll let you know who they are and what they're doing and I'll, I'll help you build the cases against them. We requested an interview with the police chief, but he declined citing an ongoing internal investigation. In an emailed statement, the department confirmed that Colt Black resigned effective February 10th and that Travis Worley had been placed on administrative station duty. The I-team has uncovered both officers have been previously investigated. Two complaints against Black were investigated and closed without any action taken because the investigator found he did not violate policy. Black was disciplined in 2018 for an unauthorized vehicle pursuit. Worley, named Officer of the Year in 2019 and past president of the Lake Wales Police Officers Association, has been the subject of four citizen complaints and two internal investigations, including two allegations he used racial slurs. The president of the Police Benevolent Association said Worley was cleared in both instances. In this complaint, the Lake Wales High School principal emailed the police chief about Worley, alleging he used a racial slur in front of students saying, quite simply, he is not the same caliber as the other officers I know are, not even close. The complaint was investigated by the deputy chief, but no wrongdoing was substantiated. Worley was also the subject of an internal investigation after an African-American female officer accused him of using a racial slur while on a call. The report says investigators were unable to prove if a racial slur was used by Officer Worley. But investigators found evidence Worley used multiple profane words while in a heated argument. He was suspended for eight hours without pay in 2020. Worley defended himself, writing, More than ample opportunities were given for someone to provide evidence of me being racist, with negative results. City Commissioner Terry Howell says she was troubled by what happened to Cordero and by recent complaints from others. All police are not, are not trying to intimidate people. That's not the case. But when you have one or two bad apples, and then they're spilling that that bad apple 
hard to other officers, then that bush start growing. Hal made a proposal for police body cameras more than a year ago, but it failed to gain traction. But just days after Cordero's arrest, a body cam program was on the commission agenda again. A home video was able to capture something that occurred. I do believe that the cams are needed. People have been scared to speak about putting lives before money. That's what I'm thinking about right now. The program passed by a unanimous vote, making Lake Wales the first city in Polk County to adopt body cams. Chris Cordero wishes it happened sooner. How many more innocent people are sitting in jail? How many people in the community are scared to come forward about these offices? I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.